let's talk to our political editor, Nick Robinson, who's at Westminster for us now. Uh, Nick, as Stephanie was saying, all this depends on the economy growing. It's a high-risk strategy, isn't it? It is. It's a massive economic choice that has been made to cut the deficit or try to do it this far and this fast. But it is also a huge political calculation that the Chancellor is making on behalf of the coalition government. The calculation he's making is that people will prefer big cuts in welfare, really dramatic cuts in welfare spending, in order to try to protect other areas of spending. Now, I say try because there are still very, very big cuts in spending, even in those areas that the government has sought to protect. But that is the gamble, political and economic, that the Chancellor took today, and it means that this statement is guaranteed to make it into the history books. Um, and, and Nick, even after an hour-long speech that we had from George Osborne today, there's still lots of details we don't have. That's absolutely right. This is line one, if you like, of what will be a massive and long-running political saga. What the Chancellor did is try and write a story for us today, that he is seeking to deal with a deficit, that he's protecting health and education, overseas aid, for example, and he's doing it by cutting welfare and cutting waste. But he will not write the next chapters in this story. That will be written as councils decide what to cut, as others decide what to cut. He says the title for this saga is Back from the Brink. Others may say it's over the edge. Shame to yourself, mate. You should be ashamed. Shame on you, mate. Shame on you. That's the silly thing to do, man. Just be ashamed of yourself. I'm not remotely ashamed of myself. Be ashamed of yourself. Why should I be ashamed of myself? All them troops dying for what?